Ireland's incredible natural beauty is the cornerstone of its tourism industry, which pre-COVID was worth 9.5 billion euro per year and employed more than a quarter of a million people. Here in Kerry, tourism touches every corner of the community and the impact of COVID is estimated to have cost the county 400 million euro last year alone. Go on, Hartley. Go on, Hartley. Paul Tangney has been a Jarvie in Killarney for 40 years. Reopening hospitality today means he's back in business. Well, there has been uh, strange times for everyone here in Killarney. Um, but hopefully from now on we'll be welcoming back all our Irish visitors and hopefully in the near future um, some international guests. Paul's sister Laura is a fifth generation Jarvie and runs the family business of eight jaunting cars. Look, we're here busy rolling out the green carpet now. We look forward to welcoming the Irish back to us. Um, we did a good few eight weeks last year when they did come to see us. And you know what, we have to put COVID behind us now, get on with it and get back to work. So we need to take out some of the furniture again for the social distancing. We Niall and Dermot O'Donoghue own the 30-room Oldware Lodge guest house on Killarney's Muckras Road. They're convinced tourism will bounce back from COVID. You have beautiful hotels, you have beautiful restaurants, but more important, you have the national park, you have the lakes, the mountains, you have, you have the whole infra infrastructure. It has been tough, and it's been tough for the staff. We've kept in touch with them, and we're delighted to see them back now in the last few days. Husband and wife Dave and Mary Gibson from Dublin are busy in the dining room of the five-star Killarney Park Hotel, cleaning the crystal chandeliers. The kitchen staff and head chef Sean Doyle are already cooking for guests and there's a sense of anticipation. Feeling the buzz, uh, have some butterflies, um, but yes, you know what, we're ready. We, the plans have been in place for many months and just bring it on now. As the country reopens, hope is returning, but risks remain. Hundreds of millions are at stake here in Kerry, billions are at stake across the country, and no one can afford a fourth wave. Pascal Sheehy, RTE News, Killarney.